Hi, I'm Brian from iWire, and we're just going to give you a little update on where we're at with the uh, STI swapped RS. Um, so for you guys, it hasn't been very long. For us, it's been a few months. You guys have kept us busy with everything else. We haven't had a ton of time to work on this. But we figured we'd give you a little update and do a little install for the radiator. But first, we'll kind of show you around what, what we have done to make things work so far. So uh, one of the first things we did was uh, add in this power steering setup because the newer style wasn't going to work. We took a standard kit you can buy and we modded it just a little bit because this fitting is usually a 90 degree, but on this setup it makes more sense to go straight so we had them redo this fitting. Outside of that, it's basically the stock kit. Um, additionally, this upper coolant reservoir with the way that it sits with these posts was hitting the top of the hood. So we had Sam back there, you can probably see him in the background, uh, design a bracket essentially just to drop the coolant reservoir down a little bit so the upper cap doesn't hit the hood. Uh, a lot of people would just either cut it or hit it with a hammer, didn't really want to do that. So we made something a little more elegant. Uh, over here, you will see a bunch of relays and modules. This is for the secondary air injection system. So we want to make sure this thing is going to pass bar. In order to do that, you need this air pump working. This is what it takes to make it work. So we've hooked all of that up. Uh, in here, we've also got our bracket for battery relocation kit. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You may see that soon. So the other thing we've been working on is air box. Um, the simple solution would probably be just to grab up a Cobb air intake. It's carb approved. Everything would be good. But um, I just like the way the stock one looks. So. This is an older style 02 to 07, but the math isn't correct for the 08 plus. Uh, I don't have one on me right now, but this is the air box that would come with an 08 plus. That air box would basically sit somewhere like this. It's not gonna fit with the ABS. So this does fit. Uh, so I'll, we'll finish finalizing putting this in here later, but basically it fits without too much issue but we're gonna have to make a custom adapter so that we can run the new style math in the old style air box. So another one of the complexities to add if you're gonna to try to do this, I said this is kind of one we brought upon ourselves in that I want a stock air box, but you could run a cob intake and solve your problem that way as well. I just like the way it looks. So from a wiring perspective, everything's pretty well in here. We're running into expected, unexpected CAN bus issues. We knew we'd have CAN bus issues, not quite sure why we're having the current one that we're having but that's why you can see there's two clusters in here the entire body module sort of our test rig while we fin finish figuring things out once we understand what the issue is then this will become pretty and be tucked away but to work on it we kind of have to make it look ugly um, but that's been the biggest hurdle but like I said we we sort of expected this part so we're kind of in it and we're not sure when we're gonna figure it out but hopefully sooner rather than later so we figured we'd at least show you something. So uh, we're going to install our Koyo radiator. Uh, we decided to go with a slimmer Koyo rad and it's an 02 to 07 style because you'll notice the inlet is in the middle. We found that although you can run the RS radiator, sometimes you run into some cooling issues because of the way the channels flow. Um, and you can look at the Bucky radiator fan mod if you have that issue on your GC with GC radiator. But we wanted to eliminate that. So we rent GD uh, radiator, some basic slim fans, Spall, Flexalite, both are great. Um, what I did on mine is I didn't have the original connectors and we can't find them as of right now. So you'll see that the connectors that are on the fans are aftermarket uh, Deutsch connectors. So I fixed them both sides for a nice uh, weatherproof connector. This is probably a lot of times your best bet if you don't have the connectors on both sides. But if you do have your original fans, our suggestion is to, instead of putting that type of connector on, take your original fan connector, put it on the fan side. Leave the body side whenever possible. Makes your life a lot easier if you change something later. So basically we'll bolt the fans to the radiator, drop it in, uh, adjust the hoses, uh, put the eyewire shroud on it, and uh, that's about it. 
So the simplest way to do these kinds of things is almost like a zip tie. You can get them off pretty much anywhere. But it's a pass-through, pass-throughs through the fins, has a nice little soft tab, and then a, a lock piece on the other side, then you cut it, and basically you zip tie the radiator fans to the radiator. Uh, centered is good. Um, the radiator kind of dictates where they're going to sit. I'm going to just try to kind of make them even. Hopefully that will stay on for the most part. So these are little foam tabbies to kind of help, or a little foam piece to kind of keep it from damaging the, the fins. So you pop them through the hole. There. And then the last step is the lock tab. Just cut it, cut it down. These are a little easier to see in the frame. They're the little rubber stops. They're easier to put in first and then, then push the radiator into them. Sometimes they don't like to see in the frame if they're already in the radiator. Especially when they're brand new. Got it installed you can make this radiator work in your GC with our fancy pants adapter shroud so if you look the bolt holes are not gonna line up you could use zip tie but don't do that because then the radiator is gonna do this so oops. it's again easier uses the stock GC rubber mounts. Just squeeze it on. If your rubber mounts are a little older, it'll go on a little nicer, but they're just fresh. And then put the bolts in. Uh, we usually recommend that you, you've got a little room, but you'll want to slide it this way because when you put the hose in that goes from here to here, it'll give you a little more adjustment room. But I'm just going to leave them loose for now so that we can toy with it. The other thing I did is I bought cool JDM radiator caps. Because it needed a little bit of gold. All right, so when it comes to installing radiator hoses, they're cut to fit, especially in this application. So 
first step, see what we're working with. Ooh, actually looks pretty good. Uh, but you can see the fitment between the alternator belt and the fans is pretty tight because the firewall to front core support on a GC is shorter than a GD. But even on a GD, you'll see that sometimes these hoses, when they expand over time, will hit the alternator belt or the stock radiator fan. So anytime you're doing a GD radiator and a GC, I would highly recommend that you put aftermarket fans on it because this fan on the stock fans is open and it will hit this almost guaranteed. Because we don't have that problem, means I can cut this a lot more to pull it this way and away from that belt instead of having to worry about this fan. So I only have one concern, which is the belt. Look at that. No trim to fit. How about that, Lance? Fancy. It's actually, <laughs> actually, that's pretty cool. No trimming required. Cool. That makes life easier. That's, I'm, I'm surprised. I guess you bought new ones. Well, I actually didn't have any, but yes, I did buy new ones. Are they plans. OEM part, factory part numbers? No, because, <gasps> the, hang on, a reason for it. <laughs> because the OEM ones are those like double Clamp, ring yeah. clamps, and I don't think they work that great. I like this. Hopefully I bought the right size hose clamp. We'll see. That feels good. Excellent. Now we're happy with that. And yes, I have fancy caps. All right. So now that I actually have the radiator in, I can finally cut this to fit. So I'm gonna use the hose clamp as my guide to line it up. Looks about right. You can always trim it a little bit more. Yeah, it should be about right. This is the low pressure side, and that's plastic, so you don't need to kill that. So one of the last pieces would be to hook up the overflow and the lower radiator hose. I don't have the part that I'm looking for quite yet for the crossover, um, debating how I want to do that. So I'm going to wait, but what we're going to do is take this nice Cobb uh, coolant overflow reservoir and we're going to make a bracket. So it's going to sit down here nice and tight and out of the way. And then once I do that, then I can get the lines across from the upper coolant reservoir to the hose here, the hose there, and the, and the overflow. Thanks for watching us install the radiator. Stay tuned, we're gonna keep plugging away at the little parts uh, mechanically that are left, 
and hopefully we'll get this wiring issue sorted soon.